Thank you for coming, Michael. Do you think you did enough to win that fight? Personally, no. You know, I don't. It, I, I, I don't know exactly. You know, I, I have an idea. Obviously, what happened? I was doing more of the grappling. He was doing more of the striking, which was, you know, obviously what. You know, grappling is my background, but you know, I, you know, not taking anything away from Bo. I like him, but I just didn't do enough in there. It's kind of like what I said after my first fight. I still, I feel like maybe I'm overestimating my experience a little bit because when I'm in there I still feel a little green it's it's like I knew he was a good striker and I'm telling you I got good strikes I know I do and I knew I, I felt like I had a good job at defending things I just didn't have that 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 second put like I just didn't have that 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 reaction time like I want to and I think the more times I get in there the, the, the easier that's gonna come do you think the judges got it right do you think that should have been scored a draw yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I don't even know what the judges are looking for half the time. I really, I really don't. All I can say is I got to do more, you know. And I worked my ass off this fight. I can't, you know. I worked real hard. And like I said, it's kind of the same thing after my first fight. I feel, I feel good in there, but I feel like, you know, there's elements that I just need to get accustomed to. But um, you know, even though it was a draw and things didn't go, obviously, you know, it wasn't a loss. It was a draw, which. I kind of don't know. I, I feel like I lost. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to put it as a loss in my book. So I'm six and one, actually two and one, because when I went to the UFC, I, I started my record in my mind over. But um, you know, I just want to. I want to get in there before the holidays, November, December, take some time off, and just you know, I, I just just get some more experience, get in there more. You seem you seem kind of a mix of frustrated slash upset. Is that is that fair? Yeah, say. yeah, you know, and and and, then, and then that's with everything, you know, walking out, you know, you're a little bit scared, a little bit angry, a little bit happy, a little bit nervous, but obviously, uh, you know, it was a draw, but I put it as a loss in my mind, but I felt better this fight than I have my my second, my first and second um, uh, fights in the UFC. You know, I felt like I, I did a really good job defensively at countering his strikes. I just need to take it a step further. After going through a whole training camp and fighting for 50 minutes, mentally, how do you process a draw? I know you say it's a loss, but like, is there anything that you can walk away with and say, okay, I worked on this, I got this experience, there's a silver lining here, or is this complete experience a wash for you? No, it's, it's, it's never a, a wash. Even when you lose, even when you win, there's always things you can take from it, good and bad. But um, I, th I think what I'm going to do right now is obviously I'm a wrestler, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep working on my bread and butter, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I know some places in, o in Ohio and some just pure kickboxing um, places. I think I'm just going to, for a month or two, just work on... I, I, haven't, I, I haven't solely ever just worked on boxing or kickboxing. And I think that's maybe an element that I've neglected, just solely being, working on boxing. So just going to a boxing camp and just doing that. Mm. You know? And I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna do that next time. Maybe give me that, uh, that uh, you know, different edge or whatever you want to call it. You know, just, get something that I haven't added to my repertoire ever. Would you go back to Florida though? Yeah, I, I would go back to, yeah, definitely. Um, they, they, they've done so much for me there, you know, I'll always go back there, but uh, you know, right now, like, like when I'm by myself, I do a good job at pushing myself. And you know, there's just so much going on in Florida and there's so many tough training partners that I often find myself wor worrying more about recovering. So it's like, oh, I just got done training with a bunch of studs. Now I gotta take, now I gotta take kind of Wednesday off and Thursday off and recover. Opposed to like when I'm by myself, I can swim, I can run every day, and you know, it's 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 just a different training. It's not that one is better than the other. You're just getting a, you're just getting getting a different aspect of the game. I right, have two other questions. You guys, you, you want to go? Uh, it seems a lot of times when the draws happen, fighters. You know, they want to go back and run it back. Let's just answer this question. You know, let's beat this guy. Is that something that you're into, or is, is this fight done right now? I want to go back, focus on myself, and move on to the next guy. Yeah, it, it's kind of. I kind of feel like, yeah, I'm. I'm not worried about other guys. You know, everyone's like, who you want to call out this and that. I, I feel like I'm fighting myself in there. You know, like I don't want to take anything away from Bo, but every time I go in there, I feel like I'm fighting myself. Like I got to beat Mike in order to get that win. You know, there were some times in the second round where I felt I could have went a little harder for the choke. Um, the third round, I, I could have done more the whole fight. You know, the UFC has done everything they possibly could. You know, they treat us so well up, up into the fight to make sure that we're comfortable. It's just up to me. You know, and like I said, each time I get in there, I feel a little better. 
I'm not happy with my performance, obviously. I know I could have done a little bit more, and I just want to get in there and show people, man. I, I, I know I'm capable of more. I just want to get in there and show people. How many stitches do you get? Uh, one or two. Okay. And do you think it would behoove everyone involved? Behoove? Say, would it be um, uh, a benefit to you guys? Uh, <laughs> You say that you don't know what the judges are looking for, and you're going in there, obviously, to win the fight. Sometimes it needs to go to the judges. Is it tough on a fighter? Basically, my question is, do you think that there needs to be more education as to what they're looking for, sitting you guys down, explaining that process? Have you ever gone through something like that before? Because how can you try to win a fight if you don't know what the judges are looking for? You know, that, that, that's a great question, but as a fighter, I, I don't want any more in my plate. If I don't go in there and finish the fight, as far as I'm concerned, I deserve to lose. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm going in there like it's, uh, like it's do or die, like it's war. And obviously, I didn't. Maybe there was elements of my training that I just didn't put enough precedence on. Like you know, I usually swim. I noticed I didn't get to swim a whole lot this camp, and just you know, I don't know. I need to go in there and finish fights. You know, I don't need to worry about what the judges are thinking or how they're scoring the fight. I need to go there and I need to finish people, bottom line.